I am Prosper Umununundi, Honorary Research Fellow, Center of Excellence in Biodiversity and Natural Resource Management, Rwanda. I do work and be interested on land snail, ecology, biogeography, and systematics here in Rwanda. With regard to the snail study work which I'm doing here at the center, yeah, it is really very interesting because land snail investigation here in Rwanda, it is still really poorly unknown. So it is very important to have people like me who are interested in land snail study project and go ahead and look what we have there so that at least people they can be aware on what we are having here uh, specifically on land snail at a large scale not not only at the national level now before i go deeper into this discussion let me say briefly or, or on what is known about uh, uh, land snail investigation here in Rwanda. There are some few researchers which conducted the land snail investigation here in Rwanda that was in uh, 1911. Then after two researchers came in to do research here in Rwanda, uh, particularly for those uh, snail study investigation, they found only eight species and yet those studies were conducted only in Nyungwe National Park. Then after, other researchers came in and they found 25 species only. But amazingly, in the recent studies by Boxnik et al. 2015 and Omutunundi et al. 2017 and Vronsky et al. 2019, those three recent studies boosted the land snail species of Rwanda to, from 25 species to 172 species. This is really interesting because just from the three recent studies boosting from 25 species to 172 species, it's really amazing. And again, from those studies so far, there was no any record of any introduced species that was known to Rwanda, except from my few uh, study investigation I'm just conducting here at the center, where I came across of one species so far which is now confirmed as uh, an introduced species. So. Now it is very important to have those findings, not basically saying that we have many species because generally land snails they are very important. They are very important ecologically and economically. So if we say snails they are very important, for example, we have to mention that the snail they, they serve in the soil nutrients recycling. The snails, they are decomposers. Uh, the snails, they form a base source of uh, food for different small mammals, like jackals, uh, banguses, reptiles, amphibians, uh, as well as their feral snails. And again, there are some snails which are edible, which we can eat with humans. And snail also, they are very sensitive to climate change. So having snails on board, they can serve as, as biological indicators. So really doing research is very important. And again, when it comes to the introduction of these species that comes from from abroad of the country, either intentionally or accidentally introduced, 
they be, can become uh, invasive. And when they become invasive, that is something which is really very important to talk about because when they become invasive, they can ecologically imbalance our ecosystem, although there are some other points to talk about, but let's now focus on economic level. For example, when the snails they become invasive, uh, without knowing that those snails they are there, the government may invest a lot of money there, and yet if we are there to do research on snails, we can report that area so that the money which, had, which would have been gone there to do the, the prevention, control and eradication, which is really very costly, it can be used for other uh, development projects and the infrastructural project, for example. So generally having research uh, being done here in Rwanda, it's uh, very, very, very important. We really need to talk to, 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 to take a to take a to take care of land snail project here in Rwanda. So that's what I can say. So far we know 172 species here in Rwanda from the different charts that contributed to that. For my recent studies that I have conducted, of course there are many species that are coming to, to be known for the first time. For my recent studies, I have like uh, eight species that are new to science. So it's really very interesting to have the, the findings where, for example, again, from the, the study which was conducted by Boxnik et al. 2015, they only uh, sampled only uh, around the main road, road sites. So that comes to me and uh, tells me that they are too much to be done because for that particular study, they only found like uh, 102 species only in Nyunga National Park. So if we go ahead and uh, investigate more our time doing research in Nyungwe, so I think we might even have more than those species that we are recently found in Nyungwe. So then for my particular studies that, that, that which, I, which I said already, I found 80 species that are now new to science so far. But again, if we keep doing research, there are many more species to be discovered here in Rwanda because generally land snail study investigation here in Rwanda it is still poor, re unknown, so there are much more to be done. Yeah, thank you very much for that interesting question. Really, I cannot do this particular alone. I need other people to come and join, as you said. I am working with professional interns here at the center, helping them to empower them the knowledge in uh, land scenario sampling, uh, determination, uh, basing uh, on their morphotypes, uh, also using the well-recognized scientific literature and modern advanced technologies like using the their section so the professional interns they are now very much needed that's why we have to empower them with knowledge so that in the future we can have a big team to come and work on snail projects <laughs>